I'll do it six. Illinois State Police are reporting a large jump in the number of crashes this year caused by drivers who didn't obey the state's move over law. News Channel 20's Jordan Elder working for you tonight to break down the trend and why lawmakers want to change the punishment. Jordan. John, right now, some lawmakers feel that the current fine isn't a strong enough punishment for Scott's law violations. It's something that they say needs to change so that more troopers' names don't end up on this memorial wall, all because a driver wasn't paying attention. Frustrating. That's how Illinois State Police Lieutenant Jody Huffman describes the growing number of Scott's law crashes in 2021. We lost three of our troopers in 2019. Um, and in 2021, so far we've had 12 of our state police squad cars struck. In 2020, there were 15 Scott's Law crashes total, just two at this time last year. Now the number sits at 12. The most recent crash just days ago, sending one trooper to the hospital. Three of our most recent incidents with this violation resulted in injuries and of course including one severe injury for a, a trooper up north in District 5. ISP Director Brendan Kelly cites distracted driving as a key cause. He says he's tired of delivering the news of these crashes to his officers' families. I've given too many eulogies and been to too many memorial services. One is too many. A new bill headed to the Senate floor would add community service to the penalty for Scott's law violations. Its sponsor, Julie Morrison, says in a statement, we're going to do all we can to make sure the purpose of this law is heard loud and clear, and that's by requiring people to give up their free time to do community service work. ISP doesn't comment on pending legislation, but Kelly says they'll continue to spread the word about Scott's law and its importance on Illinois roads. And we will continue to enforce as long as it takes and to help people get the message. Lieutenant Huffman says this is an issue that really hits close to home for her. She was in the same cadet class as Trooper Brooke Jones Story, who was killed in a Scots Law related crash back in 2019. Live in Springfield, I'm Jordan Elder, News Channel 20. Thanks, Jordan. ISP completed an educational campaign about Scots Law last month. They conducted more than 12,000 traffic stops and wrote more than 1,100 citations.